Never ignore the signs. That's the best advice from doctors, especially when it comes to your heart. A mission resident is grateful she didn't. Now recovering from double heart bypass surgery, she's changed her life around, but it hasn't been easy. Our Bella Michaels sat down with her. At 60 years old, Ileana Peña considers herself on a healthy track. I feel like I don't have any limitations. They told me to lead my life as normal as I can, and so that is my goal. That wasn't the case a year ago. She still remembers when she started to notice her health change. In the evenings when I'd eat, oh my gosh, Bella, I was popping Tums, ginger, because my stomach was just hurting so much. I had this horrible pain. Her symptoms started with lower body pain, so she went to an OBGYN. They ruled that out. Nothing was wrong with me. I thought maybe it was my ovaries. Few months later, more symptoms. Benya has indigestion and vomiting. She went in for a colonoscopy. The gastroenterologist said there was nothing wrong with her colon. Two doctors in five months couldn't find the cause of her pain, and the symptoms didn't stop. And then as I was exercising, I started to have the chest pressure that radiated down my arms. At that point, I knew something was wrong. Looking for an answer, Benya asked a doctor she's friends with for advice. They suggested Benya get her calcium tested. Anything above zero means there's some evidence of heart disease, according to the Cleveland Clinic. My score was 900. With her family history in mind, Benya immediately went in to see a cardiologist at South Texas Health System's Heart Hospital in McAllen. The doctor was finally able to give her solid answers about what was happening to her body, but the news wasn't good. I said, I can't do anything for you. You need heart, uh, heart surgery. And I was in shock. Um, I, it scared me. And I, I didn't understand why. 90% of her left anterior descending artery was blocked, and doctors found an 80% blockage in her central artery. Benya immediately went in for a double bypass surgery within days. I was bawling uh, because um, it scared me. The surgery was a success. Interventional cardiologist Victor Castro works for South Texas Health System. He wasn't Benya's doctor, but says the most common type of heart disease is coronary artery disease, or CAD. And here in the valley, it's very, very high prevalence. Dr. Castro says one of the best ways to minimize your risk is keeping a healthy diet. And not only the, the quality, but the quantity. Remember, an elephant is big even though it just eats veggies. Benia went from eating red meat and fast food to the Mediterranean diet, which includes more veggies, fruits, and whole grains. What I do is less red meat, less salt, and sweet. Benia is now living a healthy and normal life. She encourages everyone to take care of their heart and listen to their body like she did a year ago. I could have already had a cardiac event because I was on the go, I was traveling, I was taking flights, different trips. Benia urges everyone to act as soon as we feel something is wrong. Advocate for yourself. Nobody's going to do it better than you. In McAllen, Bella Michaels, Channel 5 News.